bisector theorem an angle bisector of an angle of a triangle divides the opposite side in two segments that are proportional to the other two sides of the triangle for example in triangle abc ad is the angle bisector of the angle a to which the opposite side bc is divided in two segments x and 30 minus x that are proportional to the other two sides ab and ac of triangle abc in where ab equals 10 and ac equals 15 unit so according to the theorem we can write that x divided by 30 minus x equals 10 divided by 15 so 15x equals 300 minus 10x therefore 25x equals 300 which results in x equals 12 so we can get that one of the segment is equal to 12 and another equals 30 minus 12 equals 18 so we can get that 12 divided by 18 equals 10 divided by 15 equals 2 divided by 3 perpendicular bisector a perpendicular bisector is a special kind of segment ray or line that intersects a given segment at 90 degree angle and passes through the given segment's midpoint for example in this triangle abc where ac equals 8 cm bc equals 6 cm and ab equals 10 cm so the triangle abc is a scaling triangle where y is the midpoint of ab because ay equals yb equals 5 cm and through y EY is the segment that intersects AB at a 90 degree angle. That is why EY is the perpendicular bisector of triangle ABC on the side AB. And here for the scaling triangle, a perpendicular bisector does not start, does not start from a vertex. Similarly, dx and fz are the perpendicular bisector of triangle ABC with respect to the side AC and side BC. Angle bisector. The bisector of vertex angle of an equilateral and isosceles triangle is the perpendicular bisector of the base. Here for this isosceles triangle, EF is the base and this is DR. DR is the perpendicular bisector through the vertex angle D. So this DR is also the vertex bisector of the vertex angle which results in EDR equals RDF equals D by 2 and ER equals RF equals 3 cm where the base EF equals 6 cm. Similarly, for the equilateral triangle, AH is perpendicular to the base BC where BC is equal to 10 cm. So BH equals hc equal 5 centimeter and the bisector ah of the vertex angle a results in bah equals hsc equals a by 2 And we can see here that a perpendicular bisector for equilateral and 
isoscale is triangle it starts from a vertex median in geometry a median of triangle is a line is, is a line segment joining a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side thus bisecting that side for example in this triangle abc ae is the line segment joining a vertex a to the midpoint e where mid e is the midpoint of bc such that be equals ec equals half of bc similarly bf and cd are the another medians with respect to the side ac and ab in case of isosceles and equilateral triangles a median bisects any angle at vertex whose two adjacent sides are equal in length and the median is perpendicular bisector to the opposite side for example in this triangle ac equals ab because of being an isosceles triangle so ar is perpendicular bisector on the base cb and this bisects the opposite vertex a so that car equals rab equals a by 2 See, and for this equilateral triangle AH is perpendicular to BC which bisects angle A and bisects the base BC centroid it is formed by the intersection of the medians every triangle has exactly three medians one two three one two three one from each vertex each one is from the respective vertex and they all intersect each other at the triangle centroid so here o is the point of centroid and it is one of the points of concurrency of a triangle and it is to be noted that the centroid divides each median in a ratio of 2 is to 1. That is why AO is to OE equals 2 is to 1. So AO is to OE equals 2 is to 1. In other words, the centroid will always two thirds of the way along any given median so AO equals two-third of AE similar triangles two triangles that have same shape but not necessarily the same size are called similar triangle two triangles are similar if their vertices are matched up so that the corresponding angles are congruent or equivalently the corresponding sides have the same ratio for example for triangle abc and triangle egf we can write that ac divided by ef equals cv divided by fg equals ba divided by ge where angle b and angle g angle a and angle e and angle c and angle f are congruent to each other so we can apply this theorem and we get the unknown value of AC because BA equals 5 GE equals 10 so the corresponding side have the same ratio of half therefore AC equals half of EF and here EF equals 6 unit therefore AC equals 3 unit congruent triangles two triangles that have same shape and size are called congruent triangles more precisely two triangles are congruent 
if their vertices can be matched up so that the, co the corresponding angles and corresponding sides are congruent. So if the three sides of the two triangles are equal, AC equals AC, A prime C prime, AB equals A prime B prime, and BC equals B prime C prime, or two sides, two sides, for example, AB equals A prime B prime, and BC equals B prime C prime, and the angle included with respect to these two sides, that is B equals B prime, then the triangles are to be congruent to each other. Moreover, if two triangles are equal, for example, angle A equals angle A prime and angle B equals angle B prime, along with, a, with an included side that is, with respect to the two angles, that is, uh, AB is a side and A prime B prime is another side which are included in between the angles A, B and A prime, B prime. In this case, the triangles are also said to be congruent. Similarly, if two angles are equal to each other and a side that is not included in between these two angles are equal to each other, then the triangles are also said to be congruent. But if there is a combination where two sides are equal with an angle which is not included in between the side, then the combination specifies two sides and a non-included angle does not by itself prove the congruence. Similarly, if there is a combination of three angles where three angles of the two triangles are equal to each other, then th this combination does not provide information regarding the size of the two triangles and hence proves only similarity, not the congruence. Thanks for watching. Perceive, persevere, practice. Do not forget to like, subscribe and share. Thanking you from Higher Study Prep.